Yes, lads, if you're looking for an alternative to the 4-3-2-1, this 4-3-3 is incredible. Let's get into it. For cheap, safe, and reliable FC24 coins, check out MMOEXP in the description down below and use my creator code ALP at checkout for a cheeky 5% off. Jeez. Yes, lads, so diving in with the tactics, as you can see on your screen here, this is how we set out the 4-3-3, the regular version. One of my favorite formations and plays very similar to the 4-3-2-1, just a little bit wider. But defensive style, balanced, width on 45. Again, 45 I found for me. I use it for all my four backs. It's a good combination between closing the gaps between the center backs and covering those wide areas. Depth, I play 70. I'm not looking for the automatic offside traps because you do get exposed now and again. So 70 is nice. But remember, lads, with depth, it is down to how you want to play the game. Just use whatever depth you find most comfortable. Build a play, balanced. Chance creation is direct passing. Best in the game. Get it on. Win some games. Width on 40. Trying to pull those wingers in a touch when we're attacking, as well as creating some space on the wide areas with one of the fullbacks. Players in the box, six. We want one of those centimeters getting involved, as you will see from the clips. Corners, three, free kicks, two. Did you know 84% of people watching this video right now are not subscribed to the channel? So if you are enjoying, remember to leave a like and sub to the channel if you are new. So diving in with the player instructions, lads, um, I am going to run through some of the players you would like to use in this position. Um, some will be really obvious. Like the striker position, stay central, stay forward. You want your best goal scorer in this position. Mbappe, use AP over Ronaldo. There's plenty of forwards, lads. Whoever's your most clinical forward in your team, if you're on a budget, whoever, just use whoever your best goal scorer is. And really, I've got Ronaldo. He's not the most agile, but obviously he's just a crazy goal scorer. Um, but pace is desirable. He's got quick step plus, so he feels like 99 pace. Um, but pace, good dribbling, good shooting. And having that aerial threat is nice. Um, having someone that can head the ball in this meta of the game is super underappreciated, especially if you've seen like the pro scene with the Carl and it's just obscene. The wingers are on the same instructions in this formation. Both, well, no, actually, no, I lie. So this is going to defend in a 4 4 2. So our right, uh, our right winger is stay forward, cut inside, and our left for a uh, left winger is come back on defense, cut inside. So Rivaldo's going to help defend when we don't have the ball, and Sue will stay up top the entire time. Again, you want fast players in this position, good finishers, good playmakers. I would prioritize passing a little bit more than the striker position in this because you need to be able to service your striker. So having players with 80 84 plus passing in these areas is nice and then a left footer on the left hand side and a right footer on the right hand side for um shots across the goal so because Rid rivaldo comes back on defense lads um our left center mid is on stay back while attacking and cover center our center center mid will always be stay back while attacking cover center so these guys are just going to hold down the center of the pitch they will pop up with an odd goal i do normally other than that objective use Gundawan in this position with the finesse shot plus a very nice variable to have that finesse shot plus in midfield but we do have that with claudia pina who is our attacking minded center mid she is on a balanced cover wing so she's gonna get involved in the play almost play like a cam um but when she when we're defending she defends as the right mid in front of cancelo so as you can see um the right mid defends in front of the right back the two center mids defend in front of the two center backs and then your right wing will come back and fill in in front of the left back um that's creating that 442 because you've got the strikers and uh, wingers on cut inside as well they're going to be quite close to the striker all the times which is nice you, your ronaldo or whoever your striker is is not going to be isolated which is a big big dub center backs touch them i will find you i don't care who you've got just don't touch them i will find you i will um, goalkeeper is balanced we don't touch it we try and limit how much ai gets involved in the game because we know what it's like it is dodgy um one of our fullbacks is stay back while attacking and overlap and then the other is balanced and overlap the only thing i would say lads about your attacking fullback is that you want it on the opposite side to your attacking midfielder um because otherwise you'll get a weird balance issue so if you have your left center mid go forward and you flip this formation then you want your right back going forward that is all because you do, if you have the the attacking center mid on the for me on the left hand side as well as my attacking left back um full back on the left hand side 
then they're going to have that weird imbalance where these two are going to go forward and it's going to leave a massive pocket for them to attack into, which is not very nice. Something to consider in this position is having whipped cross plus. So both Cancelo and Davis have got whipped cross plus for me. And it allows me to change which fullback attack in which formation, which fullback attacks, which is nice because you can just mix it up whichever side you want. Um, just having that allows you to create so many chances, especially like we said earlier on, if you've got the aerial threat, you are going to be creating a lot for him because it's just glitched. It's just like an absolute rainbow pass over the entire back line. And it's just so accurate. And if you're not using some version of whip cross in this game at the moment, definitely recommend you integrate it into your game. But that's the 4-3-3, lads. It's a flat variation. It's a basic version. It's an absolute classic. And it works like a dream. It's like the 4-3-2-1, just a little bit wider. I love it. You'll love it. And... Leave in the comments if you use it. I'll catch you in another one. Cheers.